Our teams have been designing a room for each other all week. Today they will be redesigning one of four rooms for new homeowners Svetlana and Yulia. We've met in Jacuzzi yeah. and we've been friends for eight years. I bought this house for my daughter, so I would like to start doing the house bit by bit, but I would love some new ideas. We don't like um, too strong colours, probably, no. no. We know what they don't like. So what do they like? This is where feng shui comes in, you know, make it flow, make it airy. Something cute and kind of personal, uh, special. Yeah. yeah. Individual. Fancy and... Uh, it's a lot of words. <laughs> Next up, it's Rachel and Daniel. They have high hopes for today's final. Yesterday, they won the competition by redesigning Sam and Lisa's bar with a cosy, playful and fun look. Today, Rachel and Daniel have been given Svetlana's master bedroom to redesign. It's quite big. Um, there is a nice bit of natural light. You can see mm -hmm. a bit greener outside. We definitely think we can improve it. Hi, Rachel. Lovely to meet you. Hi. Hello. How, How are you? How are you doing? <laughs> Rachel and Daniel are going to use warm green colours that blend with accessories made from natural materials, which are complemented with wooden Venetian blinds. No, they're not. <laughs> they just lick it. I'm just <laughs> just lick it. Oh they came across very passionate, and that's great to see. It's just making sure the little details that we put in mm. are effective. Don't go right just, into those. Uh, I'm jigsawing, so I'm just following it as a rough oh, idea of some curves. Yeah, yeah. Feng Shui is the focus today. So woodwork expert Rachel is making a start on her wall design. They've opted for a pale green paint to help achieve a sense of calm within the room. I've did quite a bit of research into Feng Shui and the different colours and the different elements in there to try and make it as a relatable to them when they come to see it. Meanwhile, next door, Daniel and Rachel have opted for a much lighter contrast. Hi, guys. Hi. How are you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> what do you think to the colour? It's earthy, it's yeah. airy, it's full of space, giving mm. that kind of fresh look to it. We're bringing nature inside and, and all Absolutely. the green nature. and all yeah. the nature. It's going to be a garden yeah, in yeah. this colour, sir. So. Yeah. <laughs> We've got a surprise it's for this. It's like a garden, like an oriental garden of some sort. Yes, <gasps> <gasps> think that. Do you like that? <laughs> surprise, 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 <laughs> surprise. <laughs> the secret for the forest is a big mural. It's a bit of kind of a feature wall. Rachel and Daniel are halfway through putting up their forest-themed mural, much to the surprise of the homeowners. Yeah, Coming that's together. A wow at the that's moment. a wow. Yeah. Very yeah. green. <laughs> Just matching your top like a little uh, no. bit. <laughs> I blend in quite well with the Time's one. up. Time to find out what the homeowners think of each of the team's designs. Obviously, there is a thousand pounds for grabs. Oh. <laughs> Rachel and Daniel, you're next. Please come and join us at the room. Rachel and Daniel have chosen green tones combined with wooden accessories. The white foil curtains and Venetians with contrasting tape round off the room, making the space light and airy. The feature wall gives the room a focal point and blends in effortlessly with the other colours. The furniture is kept to a minimum, creating the illusion of a larger space. Oh, well done. You've worked really hard. You really wowed us today. Mark and Kelly, oh. they said they love the colour. Oh. Mm, yeah, yeah. They said they brought the outside in, but it looks like a garden. So Ian and Peter's feedbacks are, they said that uh, it's been their best day ever. Nice one. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they said it's not to their taste. Fair enough. I've seen their taste, it's all right. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, it is what it is. You either like it, you don't like it. Andy and Jacqueline, this spiritual pair, first met at a friend's barbecue. Their friendship must have been written in the stars. I'm really interested in design. I've renovated two houses and I absolutely love colour. So this is a great opportunity to use colour. I also work with crystals as well, so there might be a little bit of crystal introduced as well. How are you feeling about this, Jack? I'm a bit excited. <laughs> oh, it'll be fun, won't it? That's yeah, like, I think so. Um, too. So we're doing the living room, which is very uh, modern and uh, current trend, and we have tried to reflect that with... Yeah, we've um, very... tried to just update the trend a little bit, haven't we? Yeah. Each couple have their very own room in which to create a new look for Carl's spare bedroom. I am excited to see what they've got because we are such a mix. 
Carl and Jane will pick their favourite design and award a show-stopping £250 to the winning team. So we've just got to decide which one's the feature wall then, really. Yeah. Mandy and Jacqueline's room will feature cream walls and a bold striped wallpaper. Storage will be added along with patterned cushions and curtains. Do you remember Jacqueline and Mandy? I know. They did Magnolia. I know. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that's... They did Magnolia. They might have some left. I know. We're going to have to go with it now, Jack. Yep. <laughs> this looks like the same colour as yesterday, actually. <laughs> I'm sure no one will notice, ladies. If there could be the exact opposite of what Carl wanted, it's they've Magnolia. nailed it. They've nailed it. There's two colours Carl hates. Cream and, and beige. beige. And yes. We've got both of them. Didn't we do well today? Uh, no. no, we're just going to have to work hard on charming him, aren't yes. we? See, you've got the roll of wallpaper out. And Carl's on a roll. We're, yeah, we're hoping you're going to give us a wallpaper lesson. You don't want a small edge either end. Start from the, roughly the middle. Ideally, what you want to end up with is, say, half a strip there, half a strip there. And four strips in between. Yeah, that's it. Right, okay, sounds good to me. Thanks, Carl. <laughs> what do you think? Does it look all right there? In room three, Mandy and Jacqueline's room is coming together nicely. To be fair, it is growing on me. It's not magnolia as such, it's very close to magnolia. That colour is in the picture. It's three rooms all coming together and yes. I don't know yes. which way I'm going. Balance it on the top of the mattress. Last to face the music are Mandy and Jacqueline. Their neutral scheme features a striped wall and plenty of storage. Wall art complements the palette of the room, which is livened up with pops of colour. The bed is framed with side tables and lamps, adding drama. The scheme is finished with striped cushions, matching curtains and bright red bedding. I think that we might have converted Carl to the cream. You can actually hang your clothes up yeah. and put your socks in the drawer. There's nothing you can really say that you hate about it because it is quite a neutral room. The thing I would say about it is it's gone completely against what Carl wanted. When I saw them paint Magnolia, I was like, Carl's not going to like it. I would say it's a very... it's a very safe room. Abby and Nigel said, the thing they picked up on is that you've got an artificial plant in your room. OK. And that you stated you would never have an artificial plant because one okay. of you is a florist. Yeah. Denise and Sally's comments are, they love the pop of red against the cream. They like the accent cushions on the bed. They've said that it's too dated for Carl because they, you know, they obviously think you're a very hip, trendy guy. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea where they hear that from. Each couple have their very own room in which to create a new look for the bedroom of Mark and Kelly's daughters. Mark and Kelly will pick their favourite design at the end of the show and award a huge £250 to the winning designers. Our teams have had one week to come up with their designs and now have five hours to create them. Do you know what, Matt? This was your idea. Lisa and Sam, without seeing anything from the work they've done previously, I think my money is on them. Yeah, I think, I think it's more their wavelength, back. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. The theme we're going for today is Hollywood glam. This room will still be fun, yet it will be mature and glamorous at the same time. To complement their scheme, Sam and Lisa will add illuminated mirrors and a gold-fringed Roman blind. Well, we're covering these lights because we want to change the colour of this to a matte black. Meanwhile, in room three, Sam and Lisa are planning a glamorous makeover for a shop-bought mirror. What are we doing? We're going to change the colour because um, you can buy these off the shelf white anywhere. Okay. But obviously, oh, the we, frame. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we but we like we like unique out. things, so we're going to spray it matte black. With the mirror safely covered in masking tape, Lisa coats the frame with black spray paint to create a glamorous transformation. I think our eye for detail will make the room stand out. Absolutely. We need to take all these bits of tape off. Oh, my goodness. Sometimes things are bound to happen, and yeah. today was we chose the wrong tape. We've made a big boo-boo. We used a very heavy adhesive tape. We didn't know there was three levels of, of adhesive. We apparently used the very, very heavy one. It's literally stuck to the bulbs like glue. It's too sticky. Using a low attack masking tape would have made their lives so much easier. Uh, 
OK, people, this is your five-minute call. We've only got five minutes to go. The pressure's on. Calling for extreme measures. <laughs> no <laughs> chance. Give Can me we borrow back. it? No. Got caught red-handed. There wasn't having none of it. Mm. You're not having it? Yeah, but you know, she's full-on flamingo. I think she's gone over the top with the flamingos. After five hours, time is almost up. And ten, ten nine, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Let's find out what's in store for Lisa and Sam. Their Hollywood glam room is set against soft grey walls, accented with reflective wallpaper. Two illuminated mirrors have received a new paint job and sit above an antique-style dressing table, while luxurious cushions and a black velvet Roman blind contrast with the personalised wall art for Mark and Kelly's daughters, Leah and Beth. I'm so proud of our room today. We're thrilled with it. Right, ladies, it's your turn now. I do love the mirrors and the dressing table. Yeah. Also, the colours as well. I do like the colours. It was a bold move to put mm. the black in there, mm -hmm. but I do like it. It's to add that modern flavour. Yeah. OK, it's negatives now from us. Um, I'm not a fan of shabby chic. I'm not a fan of throws on beds. But the room isn't for you, though, is it, Mark? It's not for me, but I have to make the decision. Right, let's find out what the others thought, then. Rachel and Daniel. Thanks so much. They said they love the gold wallpaper. Fabulous. Mm -hmm. But the negatives... OK. They think it's too sophisticated for children. Okay. Oh. OK. I think Thank they're you. underestimating children. Yeah. Uh, Pete said he sat in those chairs in an Indian restaurant on the Curry Mile. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think he sat in lots of chairs on the Curry Mile. <laughs>